to... Oh, oh, oh God. Sorry, that was uh, the wrong intro. Let's give that one more shot. Last time on Top Secret, we uncovered deleted, lost, and location-tested songs from the older generation of System 573 games. That's first mix through fifth mix, for those that aren't aware. Now, it's time to take a look at the final generation of System 573 games up through DDR 2013. Let's go have a look. Well, as it turns out, DDR Max and DDR Max 2 provide little evidence of anything missing. No missing banners, no references to missing songs in the game's code, and nothing really out of the ordinary song-wise. Even DDR Extreme proved to be very tricky to find almost anything worth digging up. However, there is one well-known secret that is worth sharing on this game. Although this particular song is certainly playable in the game, the song Love Shine has a complete challenge chart that has been locked in game since its first appearance on the DDR series. Players are able to access and play this chart using a well-known glitch on DDR Extreme's non-stop in challenge mode. The glitch involves quickly switching between two different courses with different difficulty values assigned to each song, and then starting the course you move to to immediately load the incorrect difficulty values of the previous set. The glitch itself sounds very confusing and very difficult to pull off, but as you can see it's actually pretty easy. As odd as it may seem, you can actually use this course glitch on more songs than Just Love Shine. Last Message Challenge and Higher Next Morning Mix Heavy are just a couple other songs known to contain junk chart data under locked difficulties. Interestingly, players believe the junk challenge chart data for Dom Darium is actually the step chart for Give It Up by Captain Jack, as the arrows seemingly match up perfectly with the proper cut of the song. However, this is merely just speculation, and there has been no real confirmation that the song and step chart actually belong together. To this day, players are still left wondering why Love Shine Challenge isn't a playable chart in-game and why the other junk charts exist. We will likely always wonder, why and how? Could you leave this in-game to tease us? DDR seemed dead for several years after the release of DDR Extreme. In fact, many players thought that DDR Extreme was actually the final release of the series until Konami finally returned in 2006 with DDR Supernova. The game used a new PlayStation 2 based hardware, and therefore got a significant upgrade in gameplay and graphics. This new hardware however didn't come without its problems, as the game was plagued with syncing issues at launch. These issues were present during the location test of the game, and some syncing issues were indeed fixed by the time the game got released. However, Konami never implemented individual fixes to a majority of the songs in game which required operators to install patch onto their machines months after the release of the game. Despite the rough start, the game was picking up new and old players of the series once again. Now that DDR Supernova is coming in on its 10th birthday next year, it's time to discover the content we have been missing out on for so many years. If you just so happen to be one of those crafty hacking people, you may be able to dump and sort through many of DDR Supernova's graphics, including the banners. If you dig through the pile of banners enough, you may just find one thing interesting. That would be the banner, for Max Period stuffed into the hard drive with the rest of the song banners. The song audio and other accompanying content is not present in the game, however. The banner is just simply thrown in for who knows what reason. But who cares about Max Period anyway since it came out in DDR 2015? What if I told you another Captain Jack song was to make an appearance on DDR Supernova? That's right! If you look through the master song list on the hard drive, you'll find Valer Radio Mix as a song listed in the DDR Supernova section of the song list. Still not enough for you? Good, because there are two other songs listed that may pique your interest. One of those songs is the DDR Ultramix 3 exclusive Colors Midi Head Sapphire Remix, which may at one point have been planned to be released on DDR Supernova first, as it is listed with the rest of the DDR Supernova songs in the master song list. And then, finally, we get to the most bizarre song in the missing batch. The Guitar Freaks and Drum Mania Classic Timepiece Phase 2 was also listed within the master song list with the DDR Supernova songs. Who knows what that chart would have looked like. 
It was likely a good idea for Kami to steer clear that idea entirely. And wouldn't you know it, looking through the master song list on DDR Supernova 2 reveals one more hidden gem. It turns out Uber Trapping could have been released one mix earlier as it's listed with the rest of the DDR Supernova 2 arcade songs. There is no banner or other accompanying data to be found within the game, however. Just like the DDR Supernova songs, it's merely just mentioned. And now we can finally move on to the Bomani PC hardware of the DDR series. Or not. Because there's still one more, somewhat, sort of, slightly secret thing I need to share with you. Remember that one song that came out in Japan called Beautiful Life by Aria? Of course you don't. Because it was terrible. But that song got put into DDR Supernova regardless. And although the song was only present for a very short period of time, i.e. a single damn month, its banner can still be found in game, even though the song itself can no longer be played. God, did that dancer suck. And now, finally, we can move on to the most hyped part of this entire video. Oh, you guys have been waiting for this. We can finally talk about the Bamani PC DDR games and all of its missing content. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there, Mark. There is no secret content on a DDR Konami PC game. Ah, damn it, that's right. Nothing has been cut from the newer DDR games yet. So, uh, what should I do instead? Hmm, I guess just tell them about some content that got cut from Dancing Stage. Oh yeah, Dancing Stage, right. I, I always forget that's a thing since I don't live in Europe. Yeah, so uh, while we're going to talk about that, I guess I'm going to go get some PFCs or something. Catch you later. Yeah, we'll catch you there, man. I'll see you next time I head to Taiwan. And unfortunately, though, it looks like we have run out of time in this episode of Top Secret. It's really, really tragic, I know, and it's going to be years before we get another one. I know, I'm so sorry, but we're going to have to leave that content for the next Top Secret. We'll see you next time. Game over. Oh, and by the way, this cake is photoshopped. The cake is a lie.